This actually ain't Elmore James either. It's he left the studio and uh, Bobo Jenkins or Bobo somebody played, and then when they put it down on the record, they put Elmo James on both sides, even though he wasn't even playing. But it's a really, really good. Glad that happened. My favorite version of Catfish Blues. This record plays so loud. Yeah, last two songs are on the same record. That's why I got two copies, just in case. I've seen people pay like $7,500, $125 for that record. And the one came with the Blues Collection where it averaged out to about a buck a record. And then the other one, I got over in Ferguson and across from Andy Worm in the parking lot. She sold me a whole box of records. I remember that day. Yeah, there was all blues records and shit. And it was, I think it was, was it 30 or 50? I thought it was 30. Yeah, I paid $30 for a box of records and it was shit like this. This, Lightning Hopkins, John Lee Hooker. That was my, that was revenge for the fucking riots. Yeah. That's about the best. You know, most records like, There'll be a good song on one side, and the other song will be sucky. That's one of those that's it's good on both sides. <laughs> 